on the tee. Winner of 79 PGA Tour events from Jupiter, Florida, Tiger Woods. But so far, the super group's not exactly playing mm. super golf. Bit of a slow start. He always believes he has a chance. An all-time record for Woods on the front nine, a 30. A thrilling third round for Tiger Woods. It was Tiger's low round on the PGA Tour in some three years. Boy, a lot of good shots today. This is really some high-level golf the last couple of rounds. Fans here enjoying the return of Tiger to the players. Good to see him healthy and with some confidence. Tiger putting it all together, all the pieces of the puzzle. Well, it was quite the weekend for Tiger, 65, 69, making birdies, making putts. But do the numbers truly tell the story? Bob and I are get into it. But first, let's hear from the big cat himself, Mr. Tiger Woods. I played really good today. I hit it so good. Uh, it was nice. I had control of it from tee to green. I made some putts. I felt good on basically every facet of the game. And um, it's weird, you know, not to really miss hit a shot today. And I want to shoot three under par is just weird um, because I played much better than that. And um, I got, I think I got within four or five of the lead at one point. And you know, if I would have played, I think the last five holes, maybe in four or five under par, I might have had a chance and uh, just didn't do it. I don't disagree with Tiger, Bob. I think the 65 was a couple shots higher than it needed to be. I think the 69 was a few shots, maybe four or five shots higher than it needed to be. And to me, this is about a mental edge. It's about confidence inside the ropes, comfort being comfortable in your own skin. And to me, the reason it's mental is physically, he's hitting it beautifully on the weekend. He can't finish the round when he gets in contention, when he feels momentum, when he feels himself really getting into the golf tournament, like the 16th tee at Bay Hill, he cannot finish the round. The flip side of that coin, Thursday, Friday, because the confidence is weary, he's not too sure what to expect yet, he can't get out of the gates. Do you agree? I certainly do. I think that uh, just looking at those numbers, I think there's probably something in the golf course itself that's, that's difficult. I mean, the, the closing stretch at, uh, at Sawgrass is not an easy place to perform, but if you are Tiger Woods and you want to get back to where you were, those are the ones, those are the shots that you have to make. I will say that I think he played better than I've ever seen him play so far. This is only five months deep into this comeback right now. Let's not lose sight of that. But I think he controlled the club that's been giving him, been killing him all year, which is the driver. He was shaping it. He was going left. He was going right. And I think that sets up the rest of his game, makes it so much easier for him to play out and, and, and lower those scores. And, and I think there's something else going on here, and I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I will. <laughs> I said a month ago that certain, thank you, Bob, <laughs> a month ago that certain golf courses at Tiger used to be very good at, that used to be Tiger ballparks, were no longer going to set up for him, that now golf courses that didn't require bombers off the tee, a lot of drivers, quirky golf courses like Harbor Town, like Valspar, where uh, Copper Copperhead is, uh, and the stadium, of course, Sawgrass would suit him well. I agree with you. This is the best he's looked since the comeback, and it, the golf course fits him now. I will say this, though, Bob. I know those last three holes can bite anybody at uh, Sawgrass, but the mental mistake with the sand wedge in hand on 14 from the middle of the fairway, that tells you a lot. For it, those last five holes, he played five over during the week, and you just cannot do that. Uh, Webb Simpson played those same holes in three under in that same stretch. So you can see there are still some, some mistakes, uh, and you wonder if it's a little bit more mental than it is physical. I think physically right now, he's really happy where he is. And he even said he's way ahead of where he expected to be at this point.